Hello fellow witches and wizards, my name is Phoenix Jenny and welcome back to Let's Play Nancy Drew Treasure in the Royal Tower. Now, uh, it's been a little while, so I'm a little rusty, um, but uh, according to my notes, we were talking to our suspects. So let's talk to Dexter, see if he's anything new hey to there, say. Hey there, Nancy. No, I didn't think so. Okay, see ya, Mr. Egan. You're a trooper. We are almost done. We are coming up to the end here. We're just going to wrap up a few things. Nancy, I heard you got locked out. You could have frozen to death. So, what was Dexter hiding out there? We're not going to tell her the truth, are we? I don't know. It just looked like your average maintenance shed to me. So, um, okay. next time you give you me a hot tip, Lisa, it better come with some earmuffs. Huh, I thought for sure I was on to something. I still think Dexter's shady. I'd keep an eye on him if I were you. I'll let you get back to your magazine. Keep me posted. Okay. I doubt Jacques will talk to me, but we're gonna try anyway, because we are thorough. Oh. Hey, let's, let's go uh, make sure. The time is right. Wait, why are we here? Oh yeah, the time. I feel like Jock should be there. Oh no, it's two, not one. He should be here now. Look, keep the stupid medallion. It's yours. Okay. Same to you, buddy. Okay, uh, so we'll have to change time again so we can go talk to Professor Hotchkiss. Tell her about the journal we found. go forward and turn around in order to get to our door. I don't know. I didn't develop this game. Okay, so we're gonna sleep for 12 hours. Actually, it'd be faster to go this way. Yes, dear? I found something that I think you'll be very interested in. It seems to be some kind of journal. I think it was written by Marie Antoinette herself. What? Let me see that. <gasps> this is it. I've been trying to track this down for 15 years. Where on earth did you find it? Well, you see... Well, it's a long story, but I happened to find a way into the Queen's Tower, where I happened to find a secret compartment. I think this must be what the Vandal was after. Nancy, I must warn you. I'll wrestle you for this if I have to, and it won't be pretty! I'm sure physical combat won't be necessary, Professor. I'm glad to help you with your work, but I need your assistance in return. 
You're fluent in French, aren't you? Absolutely. I'll get to work on it right away. I'll have the translation ready in my room for you this time tomorrow. Until okay. then, I mustn't be disturbed. And so we're gonna go sleep for 24 hours now. And come back. Well, it skipped right to 6 o'clock, didn't it? Because she went to her office. Uh, her room. Back to her room. I'm so glad you stopped by. I've translated the entire journal. It's fabulous. And as an added bonus, it includes Marie's official decoder, something no one else has ever found before. See you soon. Goodbye. So the journal is upstairs in her room, and we will go read the translation she's made. My husband is like an impossible child. I still cannot believe Louis bought this tiara when the French economy is in so much trouble. I told him I didn't want it. What does he expect me to do with it? I cannot wear it. The people hate me already. They call me Madam Deficit, as if the country's debt were all my fault. I embarrass Louis publicly now. If he and I appear divided, the mob will erupt. They'll overthrow the monarchy in no time, and we'll find ourselves kneeling at the guillotine. 18 December 1788 I have thought of a plan. I will have the tiara dismantled. There's a dear old jeweler, Claude M., in a village near Rogemont, where we, uh, who will do it for me. I trust him with my life. Once the stones are removed, Claude will make the ruby, the emerald, and the sapphire into ornamental medallions. So that's where our medallions came from. These I will scatter across the continent. The diamond is worth untold millions and must be returned to the French people, but not now, not while the country is tearing itself apart. I will hide it as carefully as I would hide the key to my soul, so that it will not be discovered for generations. Someday, when the medallions are brought back together and my message is decoded, the diamond will be found. But it will take an extraordinary person, and I don't believe it will happen until the wounds of this revolution have healed and history has wrought anew, more rational French order of some kind. Finally, when the people's wealth is returned to them, this diamond of misery will be restored to its magnificent beauty. 27 December 1788. Tomorrow I will have my portrait painted by the great Marcel Bonnet. I have announced that I will not wear the tiara. Louis is furious. He does not even know that the wretched crown never, no longer exists. I have sent the emerald medallion to Vienna to my dear cousin, the Baroness Helga von Hanseldorf. As a token of my affection, the ruby and the sapphire remain in my secret compartment where I keep this journal, but soon I'll decide where to send them. 7 January 1789. My own court speaks viciously of me, and I feel terribly alone. I only hope that someday, years from now, my actions will be better understood. If you are reading this, know that my honor shall be blue, our courage shall be red, and our loyalty shall be green. I wish you well, weary traveler. And what's, is that, oh, is that it? Where's the decoder? It oh. looks like some sort of decoder. Each of these symbols stands for a certain word. Hmm. Okay. So, what did she say was what? She said, um... She said, honor, and let me write this down. Um, medallions. Um, honor is blue. Courage is red, 
and loyalty is green. Okay. Um, are any, let's see. Okay, so honor is that symbol there. And courage is this symbol right here. I'm writing them, drawing them here. And then loyalty is that symbol right there. Oh wow, that one's gonna be a little harder to draw. <laughs> it uh, kind of looks like a banana. Not on there, on my drawing. My drawing, it looks kind of like a banana with two peels. <laughs> okay. Um, so that'll tell us where to put each medallion on the floor, but we only have two medallions. Where is the last medallion? Where is Jacques' medallion? We don't know. So, um, that's that. Oh, sorry. My mic is right in front of my keyboard. Okay. Okay. Um, so Let's see if um, anybody has anything else to say um, after that new discovery. I doubt it, but we're going to find out anyway. Try to exhaust all conversation. Oh, he's not- oh, well, it's three in the morning. Actually, while we're here, we should talk to Professor Hotchkiss. Hello there! Oh, it's so exciting about your discovery. I wonder what it will lead to. See you soon. Goodbye. Okay, never mind. Um, let's go change the clock. And talk to everybody else. Oops. I don't know if Lisa will be there though. I forget what time she's in the, uh, the lobby. Hey there, Nancy. Okay. See ya, Mr. Egan. You're a trooper. Let me set it for, I don't know, two. I'll set it for two so that Jacques will be downstairs as well. How's it going? I'll let you get back to your magazine. Later, Nancy. And if Jack has nothing to say, then we'll go make some phone calls. Look, keep the stupid medallion. It's yours. That's what I figured. Okay. We're gonna go make some phone calls in our room. Talk to our friends, see if they have anything new to say.
Where are we going? Oh yeah. Back to my room. Okay, voicemail? No, come on. Welcome to the voicemail system. Please first message. Yeah, Miss Drew. This is Dexter at the front desk. Yeah, yeah, Can you come yeah. down when you're feeling better? I need to talk to you for a minute. Thanks. To go to the next message. Second message. Nancy, this is your mentor speaking. Things are looking uncommonly out of sorts in here. I just hope I haven't had another intruder. Please remember that passkey I gave you is not for sharing. To leave the system. Thank you. Goodbye. I wonder if there's something else in her room that we could find. But we're gonna talk to everybody first. Oh, we should probably try Dexter first. Oh well. We'll call Ned first. Ned Nickerson Hotline, can I help you? <laughs> well, hello there. I sure hope you can help. Hey, Nancy, I thought it might be you. What's up? Put on your thinking cap. I need a hint. I'd like to help, Nancy, but mm. I think you'd better ask okay. Bess and George. My brain is still recovering from midterms. Okay. Bye, Ned. Call me soon. Okay, nothing new there. What about Dexter? This is Dexter. I think that's okay. it for now. Thanks, Dexter. All right. Now let's try. Well, no, let's not do that. One, five, two, three, five, 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 two, five, eight, three. Okay, we're gonna call the girls. Hello? Hi, it's me. How's it going, Nancy? Are things calming down around the castle? Not unless you find it calming to climb out of a stuck elevator. What do you mean, stuck? The elevator broke down? Well, that's what I thought. Until I talked to Dexter, who said it was probably the power switch in the basement. But, Nancy, how could the power switch just go off while you were in the elevator? Maybe someone turned it off. But why? That's what I'm wondering. How did you climb out anyway? I climbed through a hatch in the roof of the cab and just barely made it up to the next floor. So you were standing on top of the elevator in the open shaft, way up high? Ugh, just the thought of it makes my stomach do somersaults. Anything interesting in the elevator shaft? Actually, Just yeah. a metal ladder leading up to this ventilation duct or something. Nothing unusual, except that the cover for the duct looked like it was about to fall off. Hmm. Maybe someone needed to inspect the duct and forgot to replace the grate? Or maybe the duct leads somewhere, like to buried gold. Or a hidden Bess. That was Nancy's last case. She's in Wisconsin now, not San Francisco. Hmm. Yeah, they're talking about a uh, message in Haunted Mansion where there was hidden treasure. Help! I'm a little stuck. Take another look around Hotchkiss's yeah, room. That's what I Maybe thought. you'll uncover some blue, I mean, new evidence. Hmm? Okay, you two. Hmm. I'll talk to you soon. Bye, Nancy. See ya. Okay, yes. Okay. Oh, she's in there right now. Silly me. No, no. Keep doing that. Okay, so where could it be? Oh, it's under the pillow! We checked there earlier and it wasn't there. Somebody must have moved it after that. Well, now that we have all three medallions, there's something special we can do with them. Besides putting them in the floor. Remember Hotch Hotchkiss's video where, she's, where she saw the people 
And she was like, where's my medallion? Because she wanted to see if it fits, and it does. Well, let's take a look. Mm, it says, Vous trouvez la solution dedans. Uh, you find the solution inside, maybe? Ooh, I actually don't know. Uh... Well, I, that might be like a literal transition. It's probably something like the solution is found within. <laughs> a literal translation would be you find the solution inside. And that doesn't sound as cool. <laughs> um, and then we have these little symbols here. Um, I'll put this right under the medallion. So we have the moon and we have kind of like a W looking thing and a teardrop. Okay. Oh, and you can look at it closer. Okay, and then our green one. Uh, Le Dimon de ma misère or mis misère dans mon journal. Uh, the diamond of misery in my journal is what that says. Uh, okay. And we have an arrow and a snowflake. And then the red one. Ooh. L'espoir est ce qui cherche. Uh, cherche, uh, uh, cherche. Right? I don't think you pronounce it like the E N T. Cherche. L'espoir est ce qui cherche. Uh, hope to those who search. Yes, hope to those who search. Um, okay, and uh, we have a star and kind of a sea looking symbol. Okay, we can go look at those symbols and you can talk to Professor Hotchkiss as well and she will do, and she will translate those phrases for us. Um, Nope, that's not right. Get her to I think I see what the symbols in the stained glass mean now. Let's see. Purple rose, hold diamond, key of queen. But where have I, I seen a purple rose? And, and what's, what's a, a diamond, diamond key? key? Ooh. Okay. Um, so she just translated those uh, symbols for us. Uh, the moon is key so uh, this one's key of queen uh, see the w symbol is of and then the teardrop is queen and then the star which star is it there's oh wait no that's a snowflake uh star is uh purple it says violet over here so i don't know why it says purple there but purple and then it's gonna say rose for that symbol and then uh, uh where's that arrow looking symbol uh to hold And then uh, the snowflake symbol means diamond. Okay. Good. We have seen a purple rose. Okay, so this, this clue indicates that there's something behind a purple rose that we need. Um, and there is a purple rose. We saw it in the Queen's Tower. But we're going to talk to Professor Hotchkiss first and ask her to translate those phrases for us, even though I have done it already for you. Um... Hi there, Nancy. What does l'espoir à ceux qui cherche mean? Hmm, let's see. Well, espoir is hope, and chercher is to search. Hope to those who search. Can you translate this for me? Le diamant de misère dans mon journal. Now, where the heck have I seen that phrase before? <laughs> well, well, anyway, it means the diamond of misery in my journal. 
Can you tell me what this means in English? La solution se trouve dedans. Well, trouver is to find, and solution is just like it sounds. Solution. The solution is found within. I saw a letter on your desk from your friend, the Baroness von Hanseldorf. And I'm just wondering, did the medallion she gave you have a blue stone in it by any chance? Heavens no! Where did you hear such a thing? My medallion had a green stone in it. Anything else would be a mere imposter, a flaming faker, do you hear me? What do you think of Lisa Ostrom? That Leslie, yes, oh, a real dynamo, but... Oh, I told Chester that I would not require any maid service during my stay. I don't know why she didn't get the message. Okay, so I think we just learned something very important here. Professor Hotchkiss cannot remember anybody's name. <laughs> okay, we also learned that Lisa is pretending to be a maid, and she probably used that as an excuse to get into Professor Hotchkiss's room. Is she the one that swapped the medallions? See you soon. Goodbye. Okay. Well, we have all the medallions, and we looked at all the inscriptions, and there's nothing left to do but to go up to the tower and use these medallions. But we are going to do that in the next video, and that will be our last. That will be the final part for this game, because that will be the end game challenge. So, thank you so much for watching. I hope you uh, enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a comment down below telling me so or telling me if you didn't like it, tell me whatever you like. Um, uh, leave a like on this video if you liked it. And uh, if you want more content like this, please click the subscribe button and click the bell icon next to it so you can be notified when I upload and when I go live. I live stream here on YouTube every day, except Wednesdays and Sundays at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, except on uh, Saturdays when I stream at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I stream um, video games, I stream uh, puzzle games, mystery games, more games like this. Uh, we're currently working on Sherlock Holmes games right now, so join us for that. Except on Saturdays when I do my story time Saturdays, uh, where we are reading, and we are currently reading Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone, so come join us for that. Um, and also I have a Patreon. Uh, if you'd like to support what I do, link in the description. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have a magical day.